I'm going to be showing you guys how I draw over the top of my photos using Procreate and also just using pencil and paper because of course you don't need fancy equipment to draw on photos. So recently I had a day out with some of my friends and we took a lot of photos and it was super fun and I absolutely love how the photos came out. So here are my favourites. And these are the photos that I'm going to be experimenting with and drawing stuff on top of and just seeing where it takes us because here is everything that I'll be using but of course you don't need to use these if you wanted to paint you could if you wanted to throw some glitter on it you can do whatever you want and it'll be great I'm just using pencils and I always use Prismacolor pencils because I have a few of them now and I really like them so I'm going to start off by drawing some sketches of what I think the images should have on them you know every image is different every image tells a different story let's go So for all of you that are about to say, you should record your screen, I know, but this gives me the ability to point, which I really enjoy. I will tell you what I do when I do it. This is just to kind of show you how I'm going to experiment, because first of all, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this or how I'm going to put it on, because there are multiple ways that I could do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the levels in the picture so that it's mostly the background is white and the drawing is black so I'm kind of just adding a lot of exposure and a lot of contrast to get rid of all of the like in-between stuff 
Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to crop it. Okay. Oh wow, perfect. I'm going to make it black and white just by going into adjustments and going black and white. Yeah, sure, that's fine. So I think the way that I'm going to try and do this is to just get rid of the background and then invert the black so that it's white and that way I can put it straight onto the image rather than playing with layers. Although maybe we should play with layers anyway. Maybe I'll just try that. I'm just going to copy it over onto my image. And let's, let's do, whoa, <laughs> that's very cool though. Oh my God, that, that gives me ideas for art. Not for today's video. Look at that. Oh my god. And then you can see. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> that looks so cool. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just adorable? Little shark. That looks so cute. Okay, inverted. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. So I just inverted this just with the old control I. Um, yeah, so if we set it to screen. I know that what I just did was a lot of, I don't know. Basically all I did was I increased the contrast of the image. I inverted it so that the black is white and the white is black. And then I set it to screen. And that's not the way that I thought I was gonna do it, but it's worked out perfectly well. So I'm now going to move the sparkles around, change the sizing of things, because when I drew it, I just drew the elements that I knew I wanted in it. And then I'm going to change around on Photoshop. But if you don't want to do that, you can draw it exactly how you want it and then just overlay it and that'll be super easy. But, you know, I couldn't decide in the moment. So I'm going to do it now. guys learned something or inspired you to create something if you end up doing any drawing on photographs and you'd like me to see just tag me on instagram and i'll be making sure to check all of that out and i will see you guys next time bye